Welcome to the JCMS Web Basic Training Video Tutorial Program. In this video, I'll show you our easy to use cage card tool, which will allow you to print cage cards and create custom cage cards using the custom card builder. Let's get started. Log in to JCMS using MTS Admin or your personal credentials. Once you have logged into JCMS Web, click on cage cards in the top navigation. Once you are in cage cards, you can choose to print out a single cage card or multiple cage cards. Enter a cage ID and select a card type. It can be a detailed card, a mating card, or a wean card, depending on what you have created. A detail card can be used for any cage and it will show you the mice in any cage. A wean card will show you mice from litters and a mating card will show you dams and sires and some mating information. And then select the card name. You can choose to preview the card and then click submit to print the cage card. This will open a new window and from this window you have the option to download to your computer or you can go file and print. Cage cards can be printed on most standard printers by putting a blank index card into the envelope feed slot on the printer. If you'd like to print multiple cage cards, just click the multiple radio button, enter cage card ID information, so 3257 to 3259. Again, select the card type, select the, the card name, and click Submit, and you'll have the option to print multiple cage cards at one time. And if you'd like to print blank cage cards, just click the Print Cage Card button. You can enter the number of cage cards that you'd like, the type of cage card, and the again, the name of the cage card. You can choose to preview or go ahead and print. And again, this will open up a new window where you have six blank cage cards and then you can print from this screen and that is how you print cage cards in JCMS web now I'll show you how to create those cage cards click on make custom cage card at the bottom of the screen and you'll be directed to the custom card builder here you can enter a cage card name You can select the card type, a detail, a wean card, or a mating card. I'll go ahead and select detail. You can select the orientation, so you can have portrait or landscape card. Then select a print setting. You can do 3x5. You can do 3x5 on 8.5 by 11 left, 3x5 on 8.5 by 11 center, and 3x5 by 8.5 by 11 right. And then you can select the work groups that you'd like the cage card to be a part of. Now this is where you'll be adding the information that you'd like to see on the cage card. In the field dropdown, you can select any information that you'd like to see on the cage card. These fields on the detailed cage card may not be the same for the wean or the mating. Each card has its own cage card fields for the certain type of cage card. I'll start by adding the mouse ID. The row portion is how large you'd like the row to be. Some mouse IDs are pretty lengthy, so I will make the row 50%. And the, you can add the number of rows, you can add a uh, barcode, labeled, borders. You can also change the label to something other than mouse ID if you'd like. And then click Add Field when you're ready. And then you can go ahead and preview what that looks like so far. And you'll see that I have mouse ID and I have a nice space for the mouse ID here. So close that and then add the next field. Creating these cage cards might take a little while at first, but once you have one created, you, you don't need to go in and keep creating. You can save it so that you can use it each time. And if you need to edit something, it takes uh, just a, a few seconds to edit. So the long part is just creating it in the first place. It might take maybe 15 minutes of your time. But after that, it should go fairly quickly. So I'll go ahead and add the cage ID field. And then I'll add a mating ID. 
and the diet and the coat color and the birth date. Now if I preview the card, you'll see that so far my cage card is looking pretty good. And I can choose to uh, genotype and let's say I want to make the genotype field 100%. I'll add that. And then click preview. And you can see that the genotype field is the whole width of the cage card. So one thing I'd like to mention is that for the detail and the wean cards, you'll need to add these fields on a per mouse basis. So that means you see the mouse ID, cage ID, mating ID, diet, coat color, birth date, genotype. That is information for the first mouse in the cage. So you'd have to add all of that, those fields again a second time to get the second mouse information. So you can so as many mice you have in the cage, if you have 10 mice in one cage, then you would create 10 of these seven rows so that you have information for all 10 mice in the cage card. So you can play around with it and like I said, it can be portrait landscape. You can have, you can make it any way that you'd like, any way that's useful for you. And then once you are happy with what you have, click on save card. And you'll see that cage card one has been successfully saved. So now you can, you can choose to print cage card one. So if I go back to the cage card print section, I can click a single card and, and you'll see cage card one in the, the drop down. And now I can choose to print as many as of these cage cards as I'd like. That concludes our training for cage cards. For more information or to post questions, visit our website at colonymanagement.jax.org.